الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على حبيبه سيدنا رسول الله محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله والتابعين ومن تبعهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فقال أز وجل إنهم فتية آمنوا بربهم وزدناهم هدى رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم الهمنا رشدنا وعزنا من شرور انفسنا اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى today i have i would say a special and a unique uh, program to show you a miracle or something at least at the very least i think we can say something quite miraculous First, I'm going to give you the summary of it, so in case you don't want to stay to actually witness it. So that way, in the first part, I'm going to just explain what the miracle is and kind of give you the overall uh, feel of this miracle. But then, in the second part, we're going to go into the exact counting of, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? So, Bismillah walhamdulillah. This story of the Ashab al-Kahf that comes in the Qur'an, okay, uh, it starts with ayah number 9. Am hasibta, did you think, anna Ashab al-Kahf, that the people of the cave, what Raqim, Raqim has different meanings, but one of them is their dog, kanu min ayatina ajaba, that these were amongst our strange signs that we showed to humanity, okay? So ayah number 9 starts the story, the event of the Ashab al-Kahf. And then the story continues till Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that how long they stayed in the cave. And that is 25, ayah number 25. So from ayah number 9 to ayah number 25. And Allah says in the end, Allah ends the story with the statement, وَلَبِثُوا فِي كَهْفِهِمْ And they stayed in their cave. ثَلَاثَ مِئَةٍ سِنِينَ For 300 years was دَادُوا تِسْعَى And you can add 9 to that, meaning, or we increased it by 9, meaning 300 and 309. 300 solar years, 309 lunar years. So that this last statement in itself is quite, uh, if not a miracle, miraculous, right? But I'm going to show you something. There are many things in this story that have to do with miracles, including in the Rabna ala adhanihim, and we hit their ears, or we caused uh, something to happen to their ears to put them to sleep. Uh, that has to do with uh, in 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 some of the alternative medicines in chiropractic, for example, acupuncture. You rub on the ear to make the people go to sleep. So there are many things in this story that are. Uh, strange and miraculous but I want to show you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ends with this number in ayah number 25 and they stayed in the cave for 300 years and adding to that 9 so that we have 309 so you can call this the miracle of 309 why because when you add up all the words from ayah number 9 to ayah number 25. Okay. وَلَبِثُوا فِي كَحْفِهِمْ ثَلَاثَ مِئَةٍ سِنِينَ وَزْدَادُ تِسْعَى All the words, when you count them, is exactly, and we'll do this uh, if you're interested, I mean, for the people that want to stay to the end of the video to be a witness, like witnessing a miracle, then I will actually go through the page, the lines, word by word, and the counting, and the whole process. وَلَبِثُوا فِي كَحْفِهِمْ ثَلَاثَ مِئَةٍ سِنِينَ وَزْدَادُوا تِسْعَةٍ And we, and they stayed in the cave for 309 years. Okay, so this number 309 is significant because it's mentioned in the ayah. And more than that, it's the total number of words in the story. So this number becomes significant. So uh, we may, uh, if I feel like it, talk about this number specifically. What does it mean for the Akhir Zaman? Uh, but right now, I just want to show you why this, uh, like I want to show you 
the counting of this number from ion number 9 to ion number 25. Okay, so let's start with that. So I took, uh, of course, a copy of the Quran uh, and started to count the number of words. Now there is a methodology to counting the words. And the methodology of how to count the words can be deduced from the statement of Ibn Abbas radiallahu an, in which he says that the Laylatul Qadr is on the 27th because the word hiya, it is, is the 27th word. So now we know, because if you count literally 27 words, there that's not going to make 27 words. So now we know Ibn Abbas's way of understanding the language and what he understood as a word, which I'm not going to go into that detail, okay, today. But just mentioning that there is a precedence from Ibn Abbas radiallahu an, on how to count words. So uh, now I counted all the words based upon what could be understood by how Ibn Abbas counted words, which is, for the people that will know and appreciate the Arabic language, which is what? Which is that the was, prepositions, the pronouns, they're all part of the same word. And I'm going to show you examples of that. But right now, for the people that don't want to listen to the whole video and just want to get a gist, so I counted the words in every line, okay? And I, and I, I did it. I had my son do it. Then I had a, uh, one of my son's friends do it. And then had my son do it. And then I did it, made sure we got it right, calculated everything perfectly. Obviously, I had to do that before I was going to put something on line, right? So, the first, the ion number 9, the first line starts with one word. So, it's 1, and then 8, and then 10, and then 9, 9, like this. Every word has been counted, and I'm going to go through the counting of every single word, as you'll see. But for those of you that don't want to do that, so I went all the way to all of the pages. It's about three pages, okay? I counted all the numbers. So what was the result? So uh, the result was the following. So the first page has 11 lines, okay? And so you can see the total is 90, okay? And then in the second page, the total was 123. And the third page, which goes about half of the third page, is 96 words. Now, when you add... 90 plus 123, right, uh, plus uh, 96, the result is 309 exactly, okay? So the result is 309 exactly, exactly, okay? Uh, let me see if I can... Okay, so that is as far as this, so as you saw... You probably saw the number one on the first line and then eight. Okay. Now, for those people that want to experience it, actually experience and be a witness to it and understand how it came to 309. And then, you know, if you feel like it, you can thank Allah for giving you this guidance. I got this from uh, Sheikh Ibrahim Madni. May Allah preserve him. He's a great scholar and a sheikh, and if you don't know about him, you should find out about him. But I'm not going to tell you about him, because you have to find him. So if you find him, you'll benefit from him greatly. But he mentioned in Ramadan, in his tafsir that he was doing on Sutum Kahf, about the number of words in this story, and I decided I'm going to actually uh, verify what he was saying, and I did, alhamdulillah, and now you also benefit from that verification so let us start with the first page um of course is one if you can uh, go closer you'll see that I put a line under each word so this is one two three four and if you see the wa here warraqimi is in English it would be like two words but in Arabic it's actually one word and you'll see this warraqimi and the the wa it depends which type of wa. If it's wa ataf, then it's part of the next word, or and if it's not, then it's not. Then it's going to be added separately. But most of the time, it'll be added with. Okay, 
So going back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so line two is eight. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. So faqalu fa is part of the word. Okay, faqalu rabbana our Lord. That's two words in English. But rabbana our Lord is one in Arabic. Okay, and then uh, eight. Nine and then ten. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is yes, the miracle of three hundred in Stulkav. And now let me go back over there. Hold on one second. So the next nine line has nine words. Okay. Mil ladunka rahmatan two three see wa and he wa same thing. Okay. So. One, two, three. I'm showing this to you so you understand there's a consistent methodology to the counting. It's not rapid. It's not like, oh, in one time we're counting something and the next time we're not. It's consistent, very consistent. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if you know, uh, fadarabna, fa, and na, the us and the so is part of is part of the word fadarabna is one word. Okay, so that's nine. And then adhanihim, one. Again, the pronoun is part of the word. One, fi, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ba'athna hum, and we raise them. The na and the hum, the pronoun and the us is one word. So uh, uh, eight, so seven. Eight, nine. Okay. Now I'm just going to count a little bit faster. Now that I've kind of explained part of the methodology. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So the first page has these numbers. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, show that to you over here. Okay, so it's 1, 8, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 9, 10, 9, 9. Okay, so that's the first page. Now let's look at the second page. So in the second page, uh, let me show you, okay, the numbers here. So this is 9. Now notice here, is one word because it has the plural and the pronoun in it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tahsabuhum, and you thought they. But over here, the wa is part of the word, and hum is also part of the word. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. What, what kalbuhum? Again, same pr principle of the pronoun. One, two, three, four. Now here, bin wasid, and in the entrance, right? So b is part of the in is part of wasid. Okay, bin wasid. So uh, going back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Okay. Ba'ath now, one, two. Now notice, li yatasa'alu is one word. Li, which is a preposition, is part of the word. And the plural of yatasa'alu is also part of the word. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, the next one, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Now this six and seven here, uh, notice again the consistency. Wa is part of the word. On, on فليتلطف. and wa is part of the wala is also part of the word of wala yush wala yushiranna, okay, and wala yushiranna, and فليتلطف. So these are two words, okay. Uh, bikum could be taken as one ahada, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or uh, six. Sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yarjumukum is one word. Okay. And then you have wa yaridukum wa aw and yaridukum two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So that's page number uh, two in here. Wa kadalika atharn alayhim. ليتساءلوا أن وعد الله حق وأن الساعة لا ريب فيها. So again, if you count the first line, it's nine words. This will become clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sayakuluna sa soon, but soon here the scene is part of yakuluna. So sayakuluna is one word. So that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bilgaib again. Be in the unseen. Bilgaibi is one word. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's nine also. Just for for a clarification, in the previous nine, uh, it seems like. I added this falatumari. Falatumari is one word. Okay, falatumari. These two are it, it, it is one. So just to be very sure, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's nine, and because it seems like there's two, I don't know. I did that maybe by mistake, but it's actually supposed to be one. We already counted the nine after that. Then. Eleven. Inni fa'ilun dalika ghada. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and then, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the last line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So that is the entire counting of the uh, of the story, and if you take it and add it, okay, if you add all the numbers, okay, it's going to be three hundred and nine words. Now, what makes it miraculous is not just the fact that it's three hundred nine words in the story. What makes it miraculous is that it's not like the prophet said, "Oh, by the way, make sure to go back and you count." the words in the story, it's exactly 309. The Prophet didn't do that, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's just there embedded to be one day found uh, by some scholar 
right? And then, uh, and then it it became uh, it came into the uh, view of the human consciousness at some point. Oh, the story has three hundred nine words, but Prophet Muhammad sallallahu didn't say. By the way, go back and count those words. He didn't do that. So it's miraculous in a sense uh, that, of course. Uh, making a story with exactly 309 words is not an easy task. Um, and uh, it's miraculous in the sense that when you find a series of these uh, miracles in the Quran, one after the other, one after the other, unceasingly number of miracles at many different, you know, whether it is called observational or scientific or num uh, uh, number-based miracles, uh, observation miracles, right? Historically based miracles, predictions of Akhir Zaman miracles, uh, all these miracles, when you bring them together, it becomes like, okay, this is not done by human being. This is just way too, uh, perfect and deep and uh, talking about, you know, the Pharaoh's body will be uh, found at some future time for the people to see. So like that, you can find uh, hundreds, if not infinite number of, uh, if not thousands of hundreds of thousands of miracle, if you put your mind to the study of the Quran. And so this was just to tell you that this story has 309 words. And of course, there's probably other aspects to it too, that uh, we haven't uh, figured out yet. But the word 309 is for some, or 300 lunar years is significant. Okay, is significant. And so uh, we're going to find out with time why it's significant. And I'm going to talk about why it's significant at a later point in time. But I just wanted to share this miracle in Sultan Kahaf where you can count the number of words and you can become a witness to a something quite miraculous in the Quran regarding Sultan Kahaf. All right, um, the last thing that I want to end with is, please, it is Ramadan, if your heart allows you, and if your heart says yes, please donate to uh, donate to the causes or the projects that I have. Uh, if Allah puts it in your heart, it's, it's in the last uh, few days of Ramadan. And if you do, then inshallah Allah will bless you. And... Uh, you know, uh, I put I'll put the link to uh, my PayPal um, uh, link uh, in the description and in the comment section. Inshallah, Taala, if you can take a look at that, that would be great. And uh, also, I have my Telegram uh, channel information there also. Okay, Inshallah, I hope you enjoyed this and you can share this with others. And of course, inshallah, you've already subscribed and uh, you can uh, you take the time to uh, witness this and become a primary, primary um, uh, witness to this uh, miraculous aspect of Surah 309 words in the story of Ashab al-Kahf. So inshallah, I'll end there. أقول قولي هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم. وللسائر المسلمين والمسلمات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته